pollutants across the United States. About 100 wildfires are currently burning in several western states. More than 10 major fires are burning just in California. Experts say air pollution from the fires is having health impacts for people across the country. For more on this, I want to bring in Dr. Reza Renaghi. He is an interventionalist pulmonologist at UCLA Health. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, sir. How does smoke from wildfires affect people's health? Thank you so much for having me. And so one of the main things with smoke that we worry about is these microparticles that you know people will inhale. And these inhaling these particles will go and cause inflammation and irritation in the lungs and subsequently lead to symptoms such as shortness of breath, chest pain, runny nose, sore throat, um, symptoms that are associated with these particles and the inflammation that follows. You know, as as journalists, when we're sent to cover wildfires, we have to wear the masks. Um, firefighters are certainly exposed to significantly higher levels of pollutants uh, from the fires. What are some of the immediate and long term effects for these firefighters and people on the ground? Some of the immediate effects that we worry about is obviously worrying that these uh, particles go in and, like I said, cause some inflammation, irritation, and these lead to some respiratory symptoms, shortness of breath, people may have wheezing, they may develop a cough, they may have runny nose and sore throat. These are the immediate effects. Some of the long-term effects is over the course of repeated exposure to these fires, we worry that these may lead to patients developing COPD, asthma, and other respiratory symptoms. Now, the patients that we really worry about is those that may have respiratory symptoms to begin with, those that have COPD or asthma, and now being exposed to these smoke inhalation can actually lead to exacerbation of their symptoms. So walk us through some of the people with these underlying conditions that might be more um, susceptible to this. What are the certain health conditions um, that put people more at risk? The main ones is the ones, the patients that have lung disease. And so we're looking at patients with asthma, patients have chronic bronchitis, patients with COPD, patients with cystic fibrosis. Um, these are the patients that are at highest risk of developing worsening of their symptoms after exposure to these smokes. I want to get your insight on, on a new study um, that links wildfire smoke to thousands of COVID cases on the West Coast. Can you break that down? How, how does that work? Why, why are they reaching that conclusion? And so one of the, there's two conclusions that of why this, this is potential. One is that we believe that repeat exposure to these smokes can actually weaken your immune system. And mm -hmm. this, this is one reason that actually may potentially increase the risk of developing a COVID uh, pneumonia and a COVID infection. The second component to this is that because of fires, people are now spending more time indoors, meaning we are in more pro proximity to other people. And because of this, we have an increased risk of getting the COVID pneumonia because of being in close proximity with other individuals. So these are the two hypotheses of, of why smoke can actually lead to an increase in COVID infections. And so how can people tell if smoke from a wildfire is affecting their health? What kinds of signs should they be looking for? The main thing is to actually look at your you know, local weather channel and your local news uh, report to see what is the weather quality out that day. Just because you may not see smoke particles in the air does not per se mean that there isn't pollution in the air. So the best way is to look at your local uh, news channels. The symptoms that you mainly want to be looking is if you go out and you develop chest pain, shortness of breath, wheezing, sore throat, runny eyes, runny nose. These are the main symptoms you want to be looking for. Uh, on top of, like I said, looking at your local news channel uh, to determine the level of pollution that day outside. Okay, so maybe you identify some of these symptoms. Uh, what advice would you give the people who live close to the wildfires? The best advice is to try to stay indoors as much as possible. Stay indoors, close your windows, make sure that there is no communication between outside and inside. This is the most important thing that you can do. If you have to be outside and you know that your level of pollution that day is really bad, making sure that you wear the appropriate masks is very important. And because again, we're talking about micromillimeter particles, your regular surgical masks or your regular masks that you wear for COVID are not going to be effective. We're gonna be looking at N95 masks that can actually be able to filter out most of these pollutants and most of these particles that cause irritation in the airways. Next, if you're gonna be indoors is to use air purifiers as much as possible 
uh, in order to be able to clean out that, those particles that may have entered while you were opening the door or the windows. So these are the best ways to try to prevent being exposed to the smoke and for your symptoms to slowly go away. Dr. Renagi, thank you for your insight. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with the rest.